welcome all the viewers and all the safety aspirants and all the safety professionals today i have a very good presentation the the title of this presentation is the rig safety officer rig hsc officer interview question and answers i have met uh, an outstanding effort to accumulate and gather around 50 questions with answers uh, those questions with, which are asked in the interview for rig safety officer Whenever we go for the interview as a rig safety officer, this kind of questions or these questions are asked in the interview. So, welcome to the session. The very first, que first question is, tell me about yourself or give your introduction. So, whenever we have been asked this question, we have to answer this question. And even all the question answer should be very in, uh, confidently. So, the first things that we have to show the confidence in our behavior in our face we we have to make an eye contact with the interviewer we do not have to shake our hands we do not have to shake our legs while we are sitting and appearing in interview we have to maintain our body body language in a very confident manner so whenever we have been asked this question so we have to answer like this good morning and good afternoon, good evening, according to the time, we will say. If it is morning, we will say that, good morning. My name is X. I'm a graduate in science, completed one year diploma in safety management. Along with this, I have done a Bosch IGC. I have done a Bosch HSW, or uh, I have very good computer uh, application, um, uh, savvy knowledge and experience. And um, I know how to use internet because the internet uh, is used in the work area also to sending the reports many times and i have around uh, uh, eight years of experience in the um, safety field as a safety officer and um, my skills are very good in uh, doing the site inspection uh, participating in audit conducting the gc training program and uh, this kind of uh, things we have to say in this question so the next question is what are your roles and responsibilities in your com current company or what are the roles and responsibilities of a rig safety officer? So the answer is ensure full compliance of companies and client safety standard at the work site, at the rig site and ensure that the, the company safety standard have been understood and implemented and followed by the rig personnel. The next is the deliver HSC induction and other training program to the recruit as well as the induction for the um, service companies, for the vendors, for the visitors, for audit and inspection companies and prepare the reports and send it to the concerned person. And the concerned person are our company HSC coordinator and client HSC advisor and com client company man. Then identify unsafe condition and unsafe behaviors and provide recommendations for corrective action. We have to investigate if anything goes wrong, if any enormous, any incident happens in the work area, we have to investigate what was the cause of that incident, what was the cause of that near miss and why it happened, what are the, uh, what is the underlying cow cause and what is the root cause of that incident. Then conducting the drills, there are a lot of drills are conducted in the rig. So I have just uh, you can see here that I have mentioned all, all kind of drills uh, which are conducted in my earlier video. I have, uh, I have mentioned in that what are the frequency of these drills. So then, um, and one more thing I want to say, say here that whenever we do any inspection in the rig, whenever we do conduct any drill, we have to make a record and we have to file all those records because at the time of the client inspection, they ask this kind of documents that. So we have to maintain all the documents of, of the rig site in our file in our office. Next is conducting the pre-tour safety meeting and pre-job safety meeting. I understand that you know what is a pre-tour safety meeting. The pre-tour safety meeting, it means the toolbox, but in the rig it is said that pre-tour safety meeting when the shift starts then the first thing is that the the meeting the safety meeting is conducted 
what is the activity today what is the routine job and what is the mainly what is the unroutine job we have to do today and what the hazards are related to that activity this is called the pre tour safety meeting but the pre job safety meeting in the in between the shift um, whenever we do any job and before conducting uh, the job we conduct we do a safety meeting that is called the pre job safety meeting the next is uh, ensure all inspections are carried out and are are recorded so uh, close at all safety observation points arisen by the client hsc and ensure closure in corrective action register so likewise likewise there are further um, uh, responsibilities have been mentioned and discussed here so the next question is what is rig move what is rig move the rig move is <clears throat> the rig down movement of rig associated equipments and cam from one well location to another well location and rig up of the rig and equipments is called the rig move so whenever the drilling is already completed in a place or work over activity have been completed in a in a well then we have to go to the new location to the new well so so movement all of all the rig and associated equipments and the cam to the new location to the new well location is called the rig move then the, the next question is what are the hazards in oil field or the offshore rig drilling and work over there are many hazards in the offshore or onshore drilling and work over rig the offshore rig is dangerous one reason for the complex equipment needed to drill such depth danger is the harsh environment severe weather storms distance from the land make it harder for additional rescue personnel to promptly reach the areas in emergency situation the next is the fire the combustible and toxic atmosphere h2s drops there is drop hazard any any tools any loose item um, any um, <clears throat> light light and light fittings any speaker which are located on the top in the derrick may fall to the rig floor or other place maybe on the ground outside the rig floor on the deck maybe machinery hazards <clears throat> then falling hazard fatigue drilling operations produced very high noise and vibration chemical exposure because there are many sorts of chemicals are used to make the drilling fluid so that's why the chemical is a very big dangerous in the rig as well stuck by caught in caught between the confined spaces ergonomical hazard high pressure uh, line and equipment there are hoses there are lines which are high pressure electrical and other hazardous energy maybe the um, the pneumatic energy the steam energy hydraulic energy the slip rip rotating equipment of the of any machinery and uh, atmosphere containing less than 20% of oxygen generally rigging and lifting radiation manual handling pinch hazards and a blowout so these all are the hazards uh, related to the offshore onshore drilling and work over rig what is bop what is the bop a blowout bop stands for blowout preventer a blowout preventer is high pressure safety valve system at the top of the well head which stops uncontrolled fluid or gas formation pressure the next question is what is jsa a jsa stands for job safety analysis and it is process to improve safety it is a way of looking and knowing what are the potential ex potential existing has potential and existing hazards associated with the task and it also guides how to deal with those kinds of hazards to complete our work safely what is the process of jsa selecting the job splitting into different phases calculating the risk factor and hazard in every small phase of that task develop the precautionary measure and recommendation this is the jsa what is msds and now it is the ms msds uh, is said sds <clears throat> and what information it contains the msds stands for material safety data sheet and 
SDS stands for safety data sheet. The material safety data, safety data sheet or the, the safety data sheet is document with what is present uh, with all chemicals and contains the significant information which are following identity of the material and manufacturer contact details, hazardous ingredients, ingredients, physical and chemical properties of that chemical, reactivity data, health hazard data, precautions for safe storage, handling and use, control measure and the first aid. What is the frequency of fire drill at three site weekly? What are the locations where H2S detect detector is installed in the rig, bell nipple, sailor, rig floor, murder line, shell shaker. What is the length of drill pipe? The drill pipe comes in different sizes, but the generally which is used is around 30 feet or 31 feet or 28 feet, but the generally size is the of the drill pipe length is 30 feet. So the next question is what are the different detector? So that is LEL, H2S, oxygen, and CO. What is the frequency of inspection of SCABA monthly? It is monthly. It means 30 days. What is H2S and its characteristics? This is also a very good and important question in the oil field. Hydrogen sulfide is a colorless poisonous flammable gas with the smell of rotten egg. It can be detected by smell at very low concentration ranging from 0.01 to 0.3 ppm. This N is uh, not should not be here. There is no any meaning of this N. So it is only the 0.3 ppm. So H2S characteristics, colorless, rotten egg smell, flammable, poisonous, explosive, heavier than air, water soluble, corrosive, extremely toxic. Define the risk assessment. The risk assessment is a systematic approach to identify hazard, evaluate risk, and appropriate measure to manage and mitigate the risk for any work process or activity. Five steps of the risk assessment are following. Identify and list the hazard, decide who might be harmed and how, evaluate the risk arising from hazard, and decide existing control measures and uh, are adequate record the findings and review the assessment when necessary. What is journey management plan? A plan movement of people and equipment from one place to another place, including communication, defined route, scheduled stops, hazard warnings, try to avoid night driving, know what to do in the case of an emergency. What chemicals are used to make drilling fluid? Gel and baryte, caustic, lime soda ash lime soda ash calcium chloride and chlorine what are the main hazards in the rig floor slick surfaces slip trip and fall pinch points dropped objects chance of hit by drill pipe fatigue because fatigue why because in the rig floor there are around four floor men are working regularly on the floor in the in the direct sunlight so that is an open area so fatigue because regularly working in this in the in the heat is uh, the reason for the fatigue heat is stress also h2s rotating hazard chemical exposure and radiation what is christmas tree a christmas tree is a set of valve pressure gauges and choke assembled at the top of the well to control oil and gas flow what is hazard identification the process of recognizing that a hazard exists and defining its characteristics. What is well completion? Well completion is the process of make, making the well ready for production. What PP are required for chemical related work? Chemical goggles, face shield, apron, respiratory protection, rubber, uh, hand gloves. This is hand gloves. This is rubber hand gloves. Rubber boots with a steel toe chemical resistant overall or full length drillers raincoat. Confined space example in rig, tanks, the fuel tank, the water tank, mud tank, vessel and cellar. The next question is, tell me the rig move procedure and documents 
and safety points while safety meeting on rig move and every day rig move day root survey checklist pre rig move checklist or pre rig move plan pre rig move meeting checklist rig move plan format list of load equipment in the rig convey critical load data sheet jsc sheets training matrix hand signal sheet for lifting operation pre and post loading inspection checklist tentative list of vehicle involved in rig transport sequence of move lifting crane forklift trucks trailers daily inspection checklist uh, crane third party fitness certificate crane operator and rigger third party certificate approximate number of days and hours for um, rig move operation senior personnel involved uh, names uh, rig move company their names the supervisor senior person's name rig move company track pusher name contact number supervisor etc new location details methods and devices for communication how does the drilling company and uh, the rig move company and their uh, um, supervisor is called uh, the track pusher and their um, <coughs> other staff um, will communicate with each other to making the operation easier and safer ensure a lift plan is prepared and approved for each critical lift safety points while safety meeting on rig move day whenever um, we start the rig move and sometimes it takes around 2 days also actually so <clears throat> and uh, if the horsepower is less and rig is small it it is moved in one day also if it is a big rig and um, it's uh, it, it is taking 2 days for the rig move so both the days we will conduct the rig um, the safety meeting before starting the job in the morning and we have to uh, explain and mention all the all the following points in our meeting rig move day at the rig move day ensure every day in the morning beginning of the work the safety meeting must be conducted and all drilling company personnel and rig move company personnel must attend must attend the safety meeting and discuss all hazards related to rig move and safe procedure for accom accom accomplishing the task the bypass key the crane operator should not use the bypass key if he has give it to the company man signal should be given only by the rigger and the crane operator should obey and um, listen only the author assigned uh, signal man uh, instructions or his signal or the rigger signal but in the case of any emergency there is an emergency and other person maybe the supervisor the other in charge other engineer or or other technician is giving any emergency signal that time the operator can follow that person in the case of any emergency but in the normal time the crane operator has to listen and and work accordingly the the signals that is being given by the rigger be careful of drop object overhead light fittings loose items tools and small parts if wind speed exceeds from 32 km per hour all lifting should be stopped if all vehicle loaded all will go in convey in line what are the locations where emergency eye wash stations are located in rig rig floor near shell shaker and near mixing area mud mixing area who maintains the training matrix in the rig the rig safety officer the rig safety officer maintains the training matrix what is the function of track pusher the track pusher is a supervisor responsible for the transportation and movement of the rig and associated equipment including the camp from from one location to another location how many types of permits are used in the rig hot work permit cold work permit radiography permit confined space entry permit vehicle entry permit what are the drops inspection zone in the rig the number one is the crown section which is at the very top then is traveling equipment traveling block and top drive crown to monkey board monkey board to rig floor substructure mud tank mud pump and the crane what is sore gas sore gas is a natural gas 
with high concentration of hydrogen sulfide in it. It can damage drilling equipment and pipelines due to its acidic nature. So the next question is, what is the corrective action register that is called in short CAR? CAR. The purpose of CAR is to provide a centralized system of documenting, tracking and approving closure of an action items also known as non-conformities identified during daily activities. Corrective action can be generated from but not limited to props inspection, site inspection, HSE assessments, hazard identification program. What is hazard? It's a very simple question and most of us know this question and answer too. Anything that has the potential to cause harm that can be a process, material, any substance. Give the definition of give the definition of risk. Risk is the likelihood that a hazard will cause harm to someone or something. What is hydrocarbon? A hydrocarbon is an organic compound consisting mostly of hydrogen and sulfide. The next question is what precautions are consider considerable while performing any work or inspection in the mud tanks? This is considerable. This F should not be here. The following are considerable points. Number one, work permit, apply isolation, take care from agitators because the agitator is a moving part inside the mud tank that shakes uh, the, the liquid of the mud. Atmosphere gas test, JSA, job safety analysis. JSA should be for that um, uh, inspection or any kind of work in the uh, mud tank. Then pre-job safety meeting, assign the standby man, use the tripod, perform the task, clean the tank, close the permit. What is the frequency of greasing crown every day? What will happen when sand found with drilling mud? Damage in the mud pump, reduce the rate of penetration. What it stands for HPHT, high pressure and high temperature? What is the function of or why mud is used in drilling operation? Mud is used due to the following reasons in the drilling operations. Cool and lubricate the drilling bit, carry cuttings from the bottom of hole to the surface. Drilling mud known as hydrostatic pressure. Hydrostatic pressure, this D should not be here. This is only pressure, not pressured. This is pressure which allow to control the formation pressure to avoid bit to bald up. So the next question is, what is rig audit? Rig audit is performed due to identify the defects before the call, before they cause serious damage, assures smooth operation and reduces financial risk. And it is conducted to assess the condition of an asset. The next question is, what documents and registers are maintained by HSC in a rig? Lifting gear register, corrective action register, stop cut summary register, periodic equipment inspection register, safety critical equipment register, rig register, and training matrix. What is agitator? As uh, we heard earlier in earlier session, what is agitator? So an agitator is a mechanical device that helps to shake in shaking or stirring a liquid, a mixture of liquid to, in making the drilling mud that is located, the agitator is located inside the mud tank. What is the chemical spill and what will you do if a chemical spill occurs? Chemical spill, any known or unknown source or unintentional release of oil, drilling fluid, chemical sewage water, regardless of size, it means that if it is a small or big, size into the water, into the ground or land is called the chemical spill. Actions, if a chemical spill occurs, check MSDS or SDS to find out what PPE is advisable for this particular chemical. The next is, after putting PPE, use a recommended absorbent to clean up the spill. Then transfer the chemical saturated absorbent to a properly labeled container, dispose of the waste and disposal PPE, disposable PPE according to the directions on the MSDS and legal regulatory requirement. And if the spill is large, wear the PPE as per the MSDS and barricade the area 
and contract operations management in HSC department. What is stripping? Such an operation when we have to pull out and running in, running in, drilling, drilling a string for short time for changing the BHS set or to change the bit. What is the distance of the rig floor to the land surface in the land rig? This is about the onshore rig. That is 15 to 20 feet. So what is the function of tong in the rig? The rig tongs are used to break, break out and make up casing, tubing and drill pipe. Tongs used during breakout and losing or losing operations are logically called the breakout tongs. While these used uh, during makeup or tightening operations is called the makeup tongs. There are two kinds of tongs on the rig floor. One is breakout tong, one is makeup tong. What is a spud? The spud is to begin the drilling in a well. The very first activity when we start the drilling, the first attempt to bore the, to make the, the, the hole in the um, well is called the spud. What are different the T card? POB, POB stands for personal on board and visitor logbook. What is the well test? In the petroleum industry, a well test is the execution of a set of planned data acquisition activity. The acquired data is analyzed to broaden the knowledge and increase the understanding of the hydrocarbon properties, their in and characteristics of the underground reservoir where the hydrocarbons are trapped. Well test provides the following informations. informations. This is informations. informations. G should not be here. Understanding of hydrocarbon properties. Characteristics of underground reservoir. Identify reservoir's capacity to produce hydrocarbon. Formation will produce or continue to produce. Well productivity and reservoir's performance. And our next question is, what is the casket system? The casket system is in the rig or the oil field. Emergency breathing air system consists of bottle racks with compressed breathing air that shall meet the requirements for the type 1 grade D air as per N, uh, AN American National Safe Standard Institute's standards. The casket system is a, a system uh, by the with the help of the comp compressor we we, uh, we uh, take the uh, breathable air through the, uh, the the lines uh, in the manifold in the rig floor mud tank and in the monkey board at the time of emergency or H2S leak or fire the, the last question is what locations cascade manifold points are located the rig floor the two two are in the rig floor one is driller side one is off driller side shell checker one and one manifold and mud mixing area one manifold and all these one two and three there in one manifold there will be four connections four lines and a monkey board will have one manifold but here there will be only two connections two lines so this was uh, um, all the questions uh, which is asked for the rig safety officer interview i have tried to accumulate all these uh, important questions and answers. Thank you very much.